Hey, I'm Andy Dolphin, the CEO of DHerbs.com. At DHerbs, we care about your well-being, including your sexual health, which I get tons of questions about. There are so many myths about sex. And I'm here today to shed much needed light. You guessed it, today we're gonna discuss the fact and fiction about sexual health. Yo AD, last week I made a mistake of hooking up with my ex-girlfriend of mine. Don't worry, we didn't do anything crazy. We didn't even have direct intercourse, we just messed around. The morning after, she told me that she had chlamydia and that's why she didn't wanna have penetrative sex. Since you can only get STIs from real sex, I'm probably good, right? It's been about a week now and I'm showing no symptoms. Tyler, you are absolutely wrong. Everything you said is fiction. They're mainly transmitted through sex, but they can also be transmitted through skin-to-skin contact. So that means you can get STIs from any kind of sex. That means vaginal, oral, or even anal. So Tyler, even if you and your ex didn't have real sex, you're still at risk. Regarding that you don't have symptoms, that doesn't matter either. It's not always obvious. You can also be asymptomatic. Even without symptoms, STIs like chlamydia can still be harmful. That's why it's important to get tested often. And Tyler, you need to get on that. X's are X's for a reason. Next question. AD, I, man to man, bro to bro, blue balls. It's the worst thing in the world, right? I've always thought that the dissatisfaction sucks. But recently I heard from a friend of mine that it's actually a medical condition. That's crazy. Is that true? If so, I may need to head to the doctor more often. Believe it or not, your friend is spitting facts. Blue balls is a medical condition, but you don't need a doctor for it. That's a waste of money. The medical term is vaso congestion. Blood builds up in the testicles when a male gets aroused but doesn't ejaculate. That's where the pain and cramping comes from. It's not that serious. And Jacob, it's never an excuse to pressuring someone into sex. I know it sucks, but you're going to have to get over it. Next question. Hey, AD. I'm dating this gorgeous guy and we just started having sex. Everything's great except for one thing that's throwing me off. He insists on wearing two condoms every time. He claims that it basically doubles the prevention of pregnancy. I'm fine with it, I guess, but is he right? Evelyn, your boyfriend may be gorgeous, but he is totally wrong. That is false. Condoms are great. They help to protect against dangerous STIs like gonorrhea, syphilis, and chlamydia. They also reduce the risk of HIV between 80 to 87%. So definitely use them, but only one at a time. Believe it or not, using two actually increases the risk of pregnancy. Friction is created between the two condoms and they're more likely to rip. Rip equals fertilization and fertilization equals pregnancy. Next time, Evelyn, show him this video and yank that second condom off of him. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you have a question, leave a comment or email us at factofiction at See you next week.